Reading this question is straightforward. It simply says complete the table. We are given three molecules and asked for their Lewis structure, electron domain shape, hybridization, and molecular shape. In the planning stage, take a look at the table and notice that a few of the squares have been filled in for us. Use these as a guideline for solving the problem. The first molecule is chlorine dioxide. To get the Lewis structure, we'll need to know how many valence electrons there are, 7 from the chlorine atom and 2 times 6 from the two oxygen atoms. That gives 19 valence electrons. Chlorine is less electronegative than oxygen, so it goes in the middle. That's 4 electrons for the two bonds. Then fill the octets of the two oxygen atoms with 12 more electrons. That leaves 3 electrons which we'll have to put on the central atom. You might be tempted to stop here, but don't forget to check the formal charges on the atoms. Both oxygen atoms have 7 electrons and a formal charge of negative 1. And chlorine has only 5 electrons, giving it a formal charge of plus 2. Since charge separation is undesirable, let's have each oxygen atom use one of its lone pairs to form a double bond to chlorine. Now all the formal charges are 0, and we can count the electron domains. 1, 2, 3, 4. Four electron domains means our molecule has a tetrahedral domain shape. All that's left to do is sketch and name the molecular shape. To get the shape, simply sketch the molecule, including all lone pairs, as its electron domain shape, in this case tetrahedral. Then, to get the molecular shape, just remove any non-bonding electron domains. This molecule is bent. Move on to xenon tetrafluoride. The Lewis structure has already been drawn for us here, so just count up the electron domains. There are six. This corresponds to an octahedral electron domain shape. If there are six electron domains, then xenon needs six hybridized orbitals. We'll need six atomic orbitals to hybridize. 1s, 3p, and 2d. That will give us sp3d2 hybridized orbitals. Last, draw all the electron domains in the form of an octahedron and remove any non-bonding domains to give us a square planar molecule. Okay, last one. Selenium tetrachloride. Selenium has six electrons and the four chlorine atoms have 28 for a grand total of 34 valence electrons. Connect all the chlorine atoms to the central selenium atom and use the remaining electrons to fill the octets of the chlorine. Now all atoms have an octet, but there are still two electrons to place. Put them on the central atom, since it's a third row element, and can expand its octet. Now count the electron domains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. An electron domain shape that is trigonal bipyramidal fits, so we're on the right track. Five electron domains means five atomic orbitals are required for hybridization. So the hybridized orbitals will be sp3d. Use all five electron domains to draw a trigonal bipyramid, and then remove the lone pair to get the molecular shape. In this case, it's seesaw. Now all that's left is to check your answer. Make sure the answers that you supplied are consistent with the answers that were filled in for us, and be sure you didn't miss any boxes. Everything looks good here, so we're done.